are lucky we have enough time today to really begin the engineering design process for our solar ovens. And our big question is, how can we use our knowledge with the thermal properties and environmental impact of materials, the engineering design process, and our creativity to design a solar oven with minimal environmental impact. So each group is going to be assigned a question to start thinking about our solar ovens. Group one, your question, why is thermal insulation even important to our solar oven design? You're going to have to report out. Group five, what materials might you want to use that are found in the natural world? So each group will have three minutes to discuss and one minute to report out on your question. If you don't, if it's like, then there's no reason to have a solar oven. Yeah. If, if, if there's a lot of environmental impact, then like lighting a fire would be way easier. Group five, what materials might you want to be used that are found in the natural world? You can rake leaves, you can use tree bark. Rake leaves, tree bark that has fallen, or are you ripping it off trees? That has that fallen. Okay, thank you. So that's exactly right. So moving forward, we've asked these questions. Now it's time to imagine. Just so you can visualize it, here is the, going to be the solar oven, eyes up here. The light is going to reflect, go right through this plastic, and inside will be your cooking pot. Your cooking pot will be right here, surrend with a s'more in it, surrounded by whatever you choose as insulation. Okay, in whatever form you choose it. Are we doing flat or shredded? Flat. Everything is flat for me. We should do shredded because look, shredded has um is better than flat. I know King put wanting to use plastic. Did anyone else put wanting to use plastic? Okay, so do you want plastic as one of your choices? Yeah. Okay, but how many units of it do you need? I think um, one, one unit. Probably one, like two. Decide. One, two. 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 Can you recycle? Is it natural or process? Wait, let's see. Let's go back to our page. Yes. Can you recycle? Yes, you can recycle for a lot of points. This is no easy task. You had to come up with ideas. You need to weigh the pros and cons. Then you needed to determine how much to keep your lowest score. It's not just your impact score that it's part of your final score. We also need to make sure that it cooks and insulates. So tomorrow we will use your plans, we will create, and we will test. Good morning, everyone. Raise your hand if you're super excited about testing day. We do. All right, hands down. As you know, we have our engineer design process. We've asked our big question. We've imagined possibilities and tested out thermal properties to really gain that um, scientific knowledge that we needed. You've made a plan. Yesterday you created a plan for your solar oven. Today we create. I will bring each team your oven and you will make your final resource choices and write them down. I'm gonna open it up. We need four of it. Yeah. Isn't this a really good double conductor? So then you can put it on, and so then it'll let the heat in. No, we so it won't let it ah. in. It does, there's no air yes. in there. Plastic is a good double conductor. Yeah, I'm checking. Wait a minute, so what do we need to do? We don't. On the top. I think we need it like. Oh, on the bottom. No, we don't. No, we don't. Look. Yeah, yeah, yes, we do need it on the bottom. No, we're not gonna keep it up. We're just gonna scatter it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Maybe like little creases, yeah. crevices. Woo! Okay. You've done the hard work. You are each going to record the data. Every person needs to have the data that we're about to collect. So each person is going to open and have their journals open to the data sheet here. We're gonna have 30 minutes, a full half an hour of testing under the light. Then we're gonna have 10 minutes where we see how long it takes for it to cool down. A well-insulated oven will not cool quickly. Each oven is going to sit on a chair with a lamp the same distance away. 
and then you are going to sit around that area with your journals and every five minutes you are going to record the out temperature. You may absolutely make observations. You may look at your thermometer and see what's happening. Holy oh, no. smokes. It's burning. Um, you guys, first of all, you guys have a design part that I didn't see any other group use. You basically made a, a double plastic thing so the air cannot escape. What is it at now? 101.4. Oh my holy smokes. While we look at these, your final scores are a combination. Everyone look up here. It's everything. It's the amount of time that it took to cool. It is the total heat that you got. And then also your materials and environmental impact. And you are going to have the opportunity to completely improve your designs and redo this test. So, a few things. Would group three have gotten closer to group two by changing something in their formula. What could they have changed? Because they had a rocking heat score. They're, that thing shut up. But what, and they had the same time score, meaning they both insulated well. But one of them, if you're green engineers, one of them has something they could easily change in the improved stage that would have made it more effective, Charlotte. They could try to change their environmental impact score. They had a higher environmental impact. So while they had an amazing heat up and they did really well insulating, their impact on the environment was higher than group three, which means that group three had the most successful solar oven overall because they had lower impact. And you probably could look at your sheet where you, in, where you calculate environmental impact and even find ways to reduce it by two points very quickly. And I expect that our improved designs, just like engineers do every single day, will be significantly better because honestly, those who fail learn the most and improve the best. But today is the exciting day that you've been waiting for all weekend, which is the day we improve our designs. So. Here is what we're looking for, a high heat score. We get that oven nice, hot, and cooking. A low time score. It takes a long time to cool down. And finally, we want a low impact score. Why? Because solar ovens are meant to um, cook things without firewood that um, makes smoke. And if it has a higher environmental impact, we can't use it because solar ovens are meant to save the environment, not hurt it. We want something that helps the environment. We're trying to solve a problem of deforestation and pollution from fire burning ovens. So having solar ovens with resources that hurt the environment, not so good. You are going to get a chance to improve. I have not disassembled your solar ovens from before. You're going to get your solar ovens and you are going to decide as a team how to improve them. And then we want the plastic. We're going to have one unit of plastic. I really want to put the foil in. Front of it. No. That and they'll it. make it higher. No, it yeah, will. Because people even get in. Yeah, because it will yes, reflect. That's why. Group three, what's your impact score? Eight. Ooh, you brought it down by one. Uh, group four, what's your impact score? Nine. You brought yours down? Group five? Okay, I see you made some choices, cost benefit. We'll take a look at these. We're gonna hit the lights, make sure you have your recording ready. And okay. start. 60, it's gonna be 70. 60. No, 70. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Are people seeing some improvement already in the heat score? Ah, good. Circle the highest temperature. Get ready to turn off your lights. Lights off, closed, start. In one minute, you're gonna take the cool down. Record the temperature. 97.8. What did you notice about uh, the difference in your heating scores? The hottest it got the, la the first trial was 90.6. Yeah? And then the, um, when, when we did the second try, it went to 93.5 was our height. So how would you say, do you think you did better on I think we did better. Score? Excellent. So looking at here, we had zero for group five and you guys came into the positive. There's some major improvements. Based on just all this data, talk to each other for 30 seconds. 
What was the most improvement you saw in each of the areas? What it was? What area did yours best improve? We have, uh, I think we improved in the, um, the heat. You way improved in heat. What else did you improve in? Time. Took forever to cool down. Four minutes longer. You did have a little bit of a hot environmental impact, but not, not significant, just one. And you ended up in the positive. I think you guys owe yourselves a big high five to each other. Better environmental. Yeah, that too. Within this curriculum, the answers that you create are based on your learning throughout, and there's not a singular right answer. And there's opportunity to improve. So while you did something that may have worked okay, you have a chance to improve on that, and that is your right answer. You're showing that you understand the scientific concepts in that improvement. You're showing that you're using the math or the data that we collected earlier on. You're showing that you understand how this is helping solve a real phenomena that's happening somewhere in the world. So for kids to have that opportunity, it hits every single person, and everyone is engaged.